Hey, everybody. What's up? We have Daniel here, and Daniel is a very good student of MLP. How are you doing today, Daniel? I'm doing great, Eric. How are you doing, man? I'm not bad. I can't complain. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from my home in Bentonville, Arkansas. Arkansas. Okay, gotcha. I'm in Austin, Texas. I don't know. How far is that? Uh, probably about an eight-hour drive. Okay, gosh, never been to Arkansas. I've been to a lot of states. Is there a reason to go to Arkansas? Uh, well, my job's here. I work for Walmart in the corporate headquarters. Um, okay. But beautiful mountain biking, if you're into that. Okay, wasn't it, wait, wasn't it a startup? Who was the founder of Walmart? Sam Walton. Was he from Arkansas? Uh, yeah, he was born in Oklahoma, but lived most of his life in Arkansas. Okay, gotcha. He has an incredible book. I read it a long time ago. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, Made in America. It's it's a standard kind of... Uh, corporate fair as soon as you join the company yeah 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 but uh it's completely off topic from sports cars but i actually he goes with, with kind of like the amazon philosophy just undercut all your competitors pricing selling mass volume um i have like the opposite mentality but it's a great book um, yeah i'm low volume but i tick it <laughs> that's my philosophy um but uh, yeah man so you've been killing on the program so when did you or not when did you but when you joined our program like what were you, one, what did you know about sports cards beforehand? Like modern sports cards, like what was your experience? And two, what were your thoughts when joining the program? Were you skeptical? Were you excited? Tell me. Yeah. So I didn't know much about modern sports cards when I first joined the program. I started uh, collecting, you know, as a kid, uh, 80s, 90s, you know, junk wax era and, you know, had some good memories from that. And it was heading into football season last year. Um, I'm a big college football fan. So I knew the quarterback class that got drafted last year was really good with uh, Trevor Lawrence and Wilson and Lance and all those guys. And so I was excited about that and saw a bunch of stuff about sports cards and wanted to get back into it, but didn't have any experience with modern sports cards, all the different brands and colors and variations and numbers and everything. So didn't know much at all. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming you saw one of my ads or YouTube or Instagram. You're like, okay, he might know what he's talking about. Let me see what he has to offer. Exactly. Yeah, no, I was I started to get into sports cards. You know, I joined some breaks and was having minimal success there. Um, As usual. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I think from looking at sports cards and being on the grapes, being on some of the breaks, some of your ads popped up and uh, like what you had to say. Sweet, sweet. So when you joined, were you, were you nervous, skeptical, excited? What was your feeling of emotion? You know, probably all three to some varying degree. Um, a little bit skeptical because it's kind of how I am by nature, uh, a little bit risk averse and skeptical. But uh, I had the philosophy, if you've heard kind of like burn the boats, um, when you're going to do something, you need to kind of commit to it and kind of remove any obstacle or kind of path you have to back out. And so I was, you know, excited to commit to the program because I knew that would force me to uh, really fully commit and, and dive right in. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, you should be skeptical. We met online, <laughs> yeah. right? A lot of this, unfortunately, there's a lot of bad people online. So um, can't blame me there. Now on to uh, the money. So I know you started to hit good success in the past two months. Like take me through that. Like, what are you doing exactly? Um, how much money do you think are you like projected to hit in terms of profit? Like run me through that. Yeah. So I, I would say the past couple months, you know, heading into football season, I've been really kind of focused on buying some of the rookie quarterbacks and that's been my main focus. And um, so I've spent probably about $15,000 um, on cards, you know, um, some bigger cards, some smaller end cards that uh, I've sent to get graded uh, through various companies. And uh with what I have back and I'm selling and what I've sold and what I project to sell, uh, should be able to sell all those for about $25,000. So, uh, about $10,000 profit in the last couple of months. Sweet. Sweet. That's can't, can't, uh, can't complain with that. Sl yeah. Slinging some sports cards and making 10 grand. Um, what like now, like specifically, which card have you made the most money on, or do you think you're going to make the most money on how do you buy it? What car does it, how do you find it? Like, give me the rundown on like that specific process. Yeah. So uh, the best example I can have from, from recently is uh, it's a 2021 Donruss downtown uh, of Trevor Lawrence. I found okay. it on uh, Facebook through one of the groups that I joined um, and a guy was trying to sell it, you know, 
a month or two back uh, when it was more in the off season. Um, so the prices were a little bit lower. I got it for a good deal. I got it for about 650. Uh, I sent it in to be graded and it came back at 10 and I just sold it for uh, $1,800 last night. And so uh, we'll profit over a thousand dollars just from that one card. Sweet. Wait, so you were into it for six fifty or total? Or you... Card you cost paid. plus grading, um, plus grading. I, I was into it for about eight hundred and sold. Okay, eighteen hundred. Nice. Now, where where'd you sell it? I use my slabs. Okay, sweet. That's that's awesome. That's a that's not bad. Just do that ten times a week, and you're making really good money. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Uh, so you're, so this is an interesting question. I usually don't ask on these calls. So in the beginning of our program, you had some ups and downs mm -hmm. and then like a couple months in, or maybe even a little bit more, you start to hit success. So like this question will be really be good for you. Like what advice would you give to someone joining our program? Like that will help them see success like right away or as soon as possible. Like what would you say to someone? What would you say to me if I was joining Eric's program today? Yeah, that's a great question, Eric, and I, I, thanks for asking it. A um, few things that kind of jumped to mind for me. First is, um, I know you're excited about the program, but be patient and follow the process. Um, you know, take the time to, to watch the videos, take the time to do your homework assignments, and then really utilize your coaches um, to their full extent. Uh, they know what they're doing. They're going to help you avoid major losses, which can, you know, dampen your excitement for the program at the beginning and really help you build the momentum and the uh, kind of the velocity on your sports cards, which really helps get things moving. So I would say like what's really helped me recently is um, being able to get momentum and velocity going with my sports cards, buying and selling consistently, sending in for grading consistently, getting orders back, getting them signed, getting that cash flow back to me, really helps build your excitement and keep things moving um, versus you know, waiting and uh, having some minor setbacks that dampen your spirits. Yeah, gotcha. So what, now to take, it, take that question one step farther, what do you think you, you specific, you said follow the process and trust the process. Like which part of the process do you think you didn't fully execute on in the beginning? Yeah, I think that I got what do you think a was your bit... major cause for. Um... Yeah, I would say, um, for me, I think at the, the beginning, I was too excited to get in and start buying cards right away. Yeah. And so I bought some cards then that I wouldn't buy now, um, some older cards, some cards that didn't grade out for me. Um, and then I wasn't buying and grading as consistently as I should. So I'd buy some cards, send them out for grading, wait till the grades got back. They wouldn't hit because I it wasn't fully utilizing my coaches the best that I should. and um, so then you've lost a lot of time and you didn't get the grades that you wanted. And so that, um, that can kind of slow down the process. If you'll utilize yeah, the coaching, yeah. then you should be good. Yeah. hundred percent. Like I always tell people this, like the great thing about business and specifically sports cards, everything compounds on top of each other. Like, yeah, like the beginning, you know, you're not going to be as good. It's going to take you longer to find cards, et cetera. But like, if you stay consistent with it, one, you're going to make money. Two, you're, you're getting better at it. So like, let's say, for example, this is just a rough example. It takes you one hour to find a card to grade, let's say. But as you do it more and you get better and better at it, now it's going to take you 45 minutes to find a card to grade and then 30 minutes. So you get better, you get more confidence and you make more money. So like, it, it just like now, like a month later, you're better at it. You have more money to work with and you have all these cards out for grading. So it just like compounds and compounds and compounds. Um, it's always like a slow start. Then it's just like, it's like an avalanche. It just picks up speed. Um, yeah, yeah, man, that's cool. And what, uh, what piece of advice would you give to someone? Let's say that's not in the program that is getting into sports cards and, you know, they want to make some money with sports cards. What would, what would you say to them? I would say, you know, paying for coaching. Um, and this is something that you preach to us a lot, Eric, is paying for coaching is valuable. Um, I think it, helps you commit to things more fully when you've actually invested some money into trying to learn for yourself. And then it also speeds up your learning process. So if you're serious about sports cards, you really want to use them to make money. I would look to invest some money into, you know, Eric's program or another program um, that will really help you learn uh, quickly. Sweet. 
Well, that's a good answer. That's, that was the exact answer I was looking for. <laughs> Surprise, surprisingly, what, what would you say to someone that uh, can't afford my program? It has like, you know, let's say $500 to work with. I would say be patient and uh, take the time to do your research on, you know, what the cards you're looking at are currently selling for and um, what grading companies can help improve the value of your cards and then do your research and homework on what qualities of a card go into uh, grading well. And uh, that should get you off on a, a good path. All right, sweet. Well, Daniel, I appreciate it. I know you're a busy guy. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Eric.